Okay. It's just deadly quiet in here. I gotta struggle. Um, let's take a look at these. So the first ones just asked you, I think it was 9 through 12, just asked you what would make the bottom zero, or at least what they mean when they say what would make this undefined. You see that as what would make the bottom zero. So number nine, what would you make x so the bottom is zero? Yeah. If you make x zero, the bottom is zero. So then x can't be zero, or you say x equals zero makes it undefined, however you want to say that. How are we doing so far? Any other number I put down there is going to be not zero. So everything's fine except zero itself. Now how about here? <laughs> Yeah, so what would you, how would you set up a, an equation that you could solve? This is all about when the bottom... Factor. All right, good. But this is all about when the bottom equals zero. So okay, you just do that. The bottom equals zero. And you could factor it, sure, but you actually could just solve that equation. How do you solve the equation? Subtract 10, divide by 2, right? So you get negative 5. If a was negative 5, that would be negative 10 plus 10. The bottom would be 0. The thing would freak out. So we're trying to identify what values of the variable will make this thing freak out. All right. So what about this guy? What do I have to do with him first? There we go. So what's the bottom factor as? 6x plus 6x minus so what two values can x not be? <laughs> yeah, it can't be 6 or negative 6 alike. So you can write it just like that. It's fine. Cool this. So let this understand what that means, that question. And when you see the question, don't try to start simplifying. Uh, like on number 12, it's still the same question, right? So what do I not care about in number 12? The top. I don't care about the top at all. Nothing I can do to the top and make this undefined. It's all about what the bottom's about. Right? So again, what do I have to do? Yeah, so this would be... So x can't be... Good. All right. I think that was the lowest level of enthusiasm ever that somebody could answer a question. Oh, okay. So we need to hit records. So, so, but does everybody see where that's coming from? I mean, if x plus 6, then negative 6 would make it 0. What minus 5? 5 minus 5 makes it 0. That's where they come from, right? Now, number 14 doesn't say the same thing, so be careful. Don't do the same thing. It says simplify this, right? So how do I start to simplify a fraction? Factor, exactly. It's crazy. It's just like I said, almost the whole chapter 7, the first step involves factor. So if you hit a problem from chapter 7, that's what to do. Try factor. So how do you factor the top? Good. You always try GCF first. Save you from yourself. So 3x comes out. <laughs> 3x. <laughs> plus 5. Oh, cool. You're okay. All right. That's good sounds I hear from back there. Cancel 3x out. Because now, why exactly does the 3x cancel? Multiplication. Good. Multiplication, and I've got... So they cancel each other. So here, I couldn't cancel the 3s out, for example, right? Because it's subtraction. Division can't come into subtraction or addition. So now I've got a power. You can only undo bonds that are held together by multiplication. If you want to go chemistry a little bit, sure. You're like, don't mix... No, Jeff. Math, chemistry. No. Now, now, what about 16? This is really all they can do to make this a difficult problem is to make the factoring uglier. But again, to save you from yourself, what do you always try first? Yeah. yeah. So what comes out of the top? Six. Six. And that takes so desperately by jazz. If you don't realize that, you're going to do six times 54 and then figure out factors that make 36, which you should be able to do. But if I didn't have to, hell no, I wouldn't. Right? Grammar almost worked out. Though. So what's the left inside? One square plus 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 square
Oh, y plus 3, y minus 3. Careful. X minus 2. Or y minus 3. Yeah, plus 3. They can't be plus or minus because no, then the middle term would have canceled, no. right? Y minus 3, y minus 3. Yeah, they both have to be the same sign because it's a positive there, right? They're going to multiply be positive, so they have to be the same sign, so they both have to be negative. You guys see that? The only way it's going to be y minus 3, y plus 3 is if it was two term differences squares, right? I see that mistake a lot. Now the bottom then, well, maybe you can just think ahead. <laughs> so what cancels? And? Yeah, a 2 comes out of both of these. So your end result is 3y minus 3 over 2y plus 3. You guys see that? Okay. By the way, I think all the answers to these should be in the back. I mean, for the chapter review and chapter test, they should have all the answers in the back. Just the odds. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You sure for the review and the test? I know for the normal homework. I'm not sure about the review. Ah, see? Well, I got a question. Know your book. I can't remember, so let me check. Why is the plus 3 on the bottom? Yeah, How do you factor y squared minus 9? Y plus 3, y minus 3. Well, that's what I said. You said it, it's both y minus 3 now. No, the, the top is both minus 3. And the top is what I was talking about first. Yeah. Oh. So then I realized, oh, the bottom, maybe you guys are ahead of me. You look at the bottom. The top is going to be y minus 3, y minus 3 to make a negative 6, right? Oh, right, yeah. Why did I mess that up? You guys would be so far? I mean, if you can factor, then this should actually be relatively easy. <laughs> the hard part of these is factoring. Once you got it factored, you just, that's the same, kill it. You know, that's, <laughs> you don't have to say it like that, but can't if you want to. Now, on number 18, what's the only thing I really can factor here? A plus 6, A minus 6. Beautiful. This is the one here. A plus 6, A minus 6. And then now I can just start killing. What dies? Yeah, the A plus 6 die. Yeah, the A and the 2. The A dies, and if I take a 2 out of 10, I get 5. So what's left? A minus 6 over Don't just circle this mess here, right? i got to make sure you can actually get the survivors. Don't leave anybody alive behind. How do you get 5? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> two, goes, oh, two goes into ten five times. Oh, okay. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. I'm watching too much Walking Dead. I think. You watch the show? I finally caught up, and now I'm like, oh my god, it sucks after binge watching. You gotta wait a week. Uh, all right, get uh, spoiled if you binge watch. You guys doing okay so far, I man? All right. And again, so this is uh, now this is the same exact. Problem is just that everything has to be factored now. We actually factored this earlier. I don't know if you guys remember. We actually factored that. I think it was the same thing earlier. What can you do on the top here? What's this? What happens here? Six. Yeah, a six comes out, so you're left with y minus two. Good. And the bottom we did, I don't know if you guys remember, we did the bottom. Let's see if I remember what it was. Yeah, good. And then, so that's there and there, bam, bam. Now, what about this top? It's uh, y plus 2, y minus 2, over 8. And the bottom is, yeah, the bottom is another eight y minus GCF. Plus 2, plus 2. And you can, you, on that one, you can cancel, um, like, the law closely that plus 2 and minus 2, right? Because you're, no? You can't. The only way you can cancel numbers out is if they're the same. Well, I'm saying that. No, no that's what I'm saying. Y plus 2 and then the bottom on that one. And then across from it, y minus 2. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the y plus 2 definitely goes out. Why can the y minus 2s not cancel? Because they're across from each other. They want to multiply each other, not divide each other. So why can these cancel? Because they want to divide each other. One's on the top, one's on the bottom. But don't cross these out just because they're the same. They have to be one on the top, one on the bottom. They have to be in opposite locations, so they'll cancel. So that's part of what this problem is trying to figure out, if you know. And the only last thing I can do, there's only one last thing I can do. Two. We have a factor of two here, right? Uh, the six and the eight. So there's a lot left alive. There's 
there's a 3. There's a couple y minus 2s. And on the bottom, there's 4. What else? 2y <coughs> two 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 one. minus 1. And a y minus 1. There's a lot left there. Too bad. Let me stop there for a second. So don't, don't think you're wrong if not a lot cancels. That should happen every now and again. But I like to make problems where almost everything cancels, and then one problem where like only one thing cancels. I'm evil like that. So you just have to have confidence in what you're doing. All right, so what about 21 up here? You start to realize it's the same problem over and over. Right? Which is actually a good thing. Don't go, oh crap, not only is it hard, it's boring, I knew it, I knew it. But it's lovely when you go, oh, it's the same thing, it's beautiful. You realize there's no different problems. Right? I mean, what do you do? X plus 1, X minus 1. Now, do you notice it was division, I multiplied, I just remember they changed it. First step is to make it multiplication of the reciprocal, right? If it's division to start with, you want to do that right away. And so I just reversed this, and now we'll have what it is on the top here. Take gas. So then what cancels? Yeah, the x minus 1's cancel. Yeah, 2 goes into 4 twice, and how many x's cancel? 3. So how many is left on top? 1. So if you're even messier than me, or at least as messy as I am, the hardest part will be bookkeeping. Who's alive? All right, don't leave anybody out there. I'm alive. So two's alive, x is alive, and x minus one is alive. And on the bottom, just x plus one maybe. Everybody else, dead. All right, again, I heard a good sound effect over there. One of my favorite sounds is yes. <laughs> What about 27? What's nice about 27? The bottom's the same already. Kick ass. The roughest part about any fraction is making the freaking bottoms the same. These are already the same, so what can I do? Yeah, so x minus 4x. This is a plus in the middle, so I don't have to worry about any weirdness. Negative 3x. 6 plus 9. 15. Now think. What could come out of the top? Three. What would you left here? One. Is there any reason to do it then? No. Do you, do you guys see what I mean? So you're fine. You don't have to shoot. You can just, that's fine. There's no reason to factor it because you can see there's going to be a five, not a three. So what's the reason? There's no purpose. All right, cool. And then 29. Who needs something on 29? Yeah, he's missing something he's got. What's he missing? Two. Two. So you multiply him by two. You really got to be careful. There's a minus sign. The minus signs always find a way to screw us up. Sort of like nature in Jurassic Park, right? Always finds a way. So I got 3x minus 1. What's minus 2 times x? Minus 2x. And what's minus 2 times negative 3? Plus 6. You guys see that? Some of you guys in the very back, you're like, no, I don't see what the hell you're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I hear the marker. So you use that, that operation when you multiply it to get the same denominator? Yeah, so you really, another, remember, I think I said this before, that you got a minus in the middle, you can just make it a plus and negative, and you know you can do that forever, right? Negative 7 minus 2 is negative 7 plus negative 2. You can rewrite a minus as plus a negative, and what's beautiful about that is you realize you are bringing your negative 2 in. Negative 2x, negative 2x, negative 2 times negative 3 is plus 6. Just don't forget that minus in the middle. Pay attention to when it's there so you don't forget to bring it through. And on the bottom is going to be 2x. Yeah, x plus 5. And then I cancel the x's, right? 
I like that. Good. I like you. I like that. Good. Why can't you cancel the X's? Yeah, you can't break into the addition. I love it. Kick ass. That is kind of an evil thing to do. <laughs> Teacher just said, do it. <laughs> but you know you can't do that. It's a plus. All right, how are we doing so far? All right. Because you're relatively awake, it's good. So what about 33? What's weird about 33? Yeah, the bottoms aren't the same, but it looks like they want to be the same. So here's a beautiful way to do this. Uh, how would you make this become this? You can multiply top and bottom by anything you want to, right? One. Yeah, multiply by negative 1. Because that's all they're offset by is a factor of negative, right? So if I multiply top and bottom by negative 1 to make it legal, you can't just change him. We know you've got to change both, right? So you get d squared, d minus 2, minus 4, right? Minus 4 now. And of course, what's the what's, now it's nice, the bottoms are the same. You stop there for a second. Shisa, you got a turn. Uh, Shisa is a good way to say shit. That German? Yes, German. <laughs> I've said that forever. Because uh, then people normally, most people don't know. Uh, and so, what, what's the next step on that? Yeah, eventually. So now you can put them together because they have the same denominator. So you get d squared minus 4 over d minus 2. If you factor the top, what do you get? I want to quit. I'm trying to catch up. Do you guys see that? Yeah. So fractions, how do you subtract fractions? Get the same denominator, subtract the tops, and then the last step is cancel if you can. So variables are numbers. They act the exact same way. They do the exact same process. They didn't have the same denominator. Now they do. Put them together. See if it'll reduce. And yes, it will. No, I'm just going back to the, the two, two minus d and the d minus. So you just multiply by negative one and have it flip. Well, yep. Guess you have flip. And why was it legal that I did that? Because you did it to both the numbers. You. I can multiply top and bottom of any fraction by any damn thing I want to except zero. Yes, good. All right, like, just gets the answer, man. D minus 2 is canceled, so the answer is D plus 2. Do you have to put it over 1? No. No. Right, it's technically over 1, but so is everything in the world. <coughs> so how about 34? We're almost there, guys. How about 34? What do you do first? What really sucks in 34 is... Fact of the denominators. Yeah, I got the fact of the denominator. See what they got. They, it's nowhere near the LCD, right? The biggest mistake I see here is people try to give this a five somehow. Why do you think somebody's thinking about giving this a five? And then they try to like subtract four x to the top. Holy crap! What's the only thing you're allowed to do? Multiply or divide top and bottom, right? So that's why the first step is see what's already there. Of course, this is. And then this would be. <laughs> I like that. So I'll write it the opposite way you said. So who's missing what? Now notice this. These would cancel, wouldn't they? I don't know if you guys ever noticed that. It's perfectly fine if you didn't notice it because you'd have to give it right back to the damn thing anyway because this guy has it, right? So I thought it was kind of an evil thing they did in that problem, but I was hoping you guys wouldn't see that so you wouldn't get freaked out. He's got to be there, so you don't, don't cancel him. He's the only thing these have in common, right? So what does he need that he's got? X plus five. He needs an x plus five. And what's he need? X plus one. All right, let me tell you. Let me bring this over here. This is our. our That's probably the the most involved problem up here. So okay. everybody basically got this stuff here. Let me bring this over here so we can see it a little better. Man, that was a wall of math. Wow. All right. So, yeah. What do we got here? We got x plus 1 minus x minus 5, x plus 5, all over that LCD, right? 
So the biggest mistake I see is people just start canceling, and why can't I not cancel anything? And somebody's like, that's what you did, man. It came out so nice. Why can't I cancel a damn thing? Yeah, well, I will have to do that, but why can't I not cancel anything? Because division is not the opposite of subtraction. I can never break into a subtraction problem and take parts of it away. By division, I can't. Division doesn't have that power. Division can break into a multiplication problem all day long and say an abductive 4, right? 4x over 4, the 4's gone. But if it's 4 plus x over 4, uh-uh. Can't work, right? It's good protection. Keep the aliens away. I don't know where that went. Those abducting things. I don't so uh, on this problem, what I have to do, after I get an LCD, the next step is always clean up. Foil this bad boy out. Now here's a mistake everybody makes. There's a minus. It's got to go through the whole thing that whatever the hell this is. Now what do you get when you foil this? What form is this in? It's like a difference in squares kind of thing, right? You guys see it? So it'll be x squared minus 25. The middle term cancels. Minus 5x plus 5x. It's kind of nice to notice that, so you got less work to do. All over all this. It's important to kind of keep that in order, the, the, the minus and the plus five, or not necessarily the multiplying oh. it. No, the bottom part. It doesn't matter. Oh. I can put that first. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Two times three times four is the same as four times two times three. It doesn't matter. Uh, what happens on the top? No. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, I can't. No, no, This should be the one. Yeah. So it's cleanup time, right? It's distribute, foil. Get your like terms together, that's what cleanup means. L C D, just cram the top things together and then clean up. So here I get minus x squared plus twenty-five over blah blah blah. You know what they are. They're down there still. So I find I get to the point where I have negative x squared plus x plus 26, all over blah, blah, blah. And will the top factor? No. I don't even try. Because no, there's nothing that multiplies between 26 and adds to be 1, right? You guys see that? If you multiply the negative 26 out of 1, and then it's there. It'll only be 2 and 13, and they can't make 1. You guys see that? That's it. Go ahead and fill this in, make it official. What if you kind of semi ignore that x plus or that x minus 5? Because you have the perfect the square right there, the x minus 5 and x minus 5. Right? Oh, be, here? Uh, just those two, yeah. The, wouldn't that be x squared? Mm -hmm. Sure, you could. But you can't, you can't like, prematurely cancel that out with the top? No, because of that minus. Yes. You can't break into a subtraction problem. All right, cool. We're not ready to go yet. Like that. You guys thought that was it, but yeah. no, of course not. That's review crap. Let's get the new stuff. That's it. Whatever. Optimism is good, but hey. All right. So here's a little. Uh, here's uh, something you'll like. All right. I'm gonna make seven five section seven five. I'm gonna make it extra credit if you want to do it. Just, just. zero points, but still do it if you want to, and at the end, if you did it, I can then add it on top of your grade, if you will. I can see how many got right, you kind of with me. So online, you'll still be able to do this too. I think I've already put it up there just to make it zero points. Because um, I want to get into 7.6 and focus on that for the rest of the day, and then next time we'll have a quiz, and then we'll do, of course, you know, you know it. So if you've been waiting for it, it's here. Word problems with rational expressions. So I'm sorry it took so long to hear. <laughs> you're, like, you're funny math, man. So, all right. So the thing I like about 
the, uh, the way that you look at LCDs is it's the same first step for solving equations. So the difference between what we've been doing and what we're about to do is these have been expressions. We're about to get into equations. So expressions don't have a real answer, right? This is the answer, but when I say answer, normally students think yeah, the answer is 7. So this is a little bit uh, unsatisfying in a way. I don't know if you agree with me or not. As a student, you almost always want to make everything zero so you actually get a number, but that's just the, that's it, that's the answer. So now we're going to get into equations where I'm going to get some answers. And some answers are going to be bogus. I'm going to have to throw them out. You might expect that. Let's talk about why that happens here in a minute. But first off, let's, uh, let's remember how we do this in general. All right. So start off with nice things. Notice there's no variables on the bottom yet. So this is a nice problem. Let me show you a nice way to do this. You could multiply everything by the LCD. Some of you guys kind of know that and you do it. And you can actually do that same thing with when we start throwing variables down here. But I want to show you a nice way that works for everything. And it kind of comes off of what we're used to. What's missing? Who's missing what? Is he missing anything that the other two have? Three and five. Well, he's got a three and a five, right? That's what he is. So what's this guy missing? Three and nine. And he's missing? Five. Now watch this beautiful thing that happens. If I multiply both sides, and I can do this because it's an equation. I can kill my fractions because I have two sides. We couldn't kill any of these. I can't kill this fraction. Right? Unfortunately for me, it's not an equation. I can't do it. But here, I can multiply both sides by 15, which makes sense because what's everything being divided by? So if I multiply by 15, all the divisions of 15 cancel. Right? Do you guys see that? That's the beautiful thing. Once you make all the bottoms 15, they all cancel in the next step because I can multiply both sides by that. So what am I left with? And that looks immensely better than it did, right? Immediately like, whoa, that's so much better. And, and now how do you solve it if it's better? Subtract 12 to 7 to both sides. So actually it's negative six thirteens. We got an ugly answer. Why do we not care? Because we are done with the problem. <laughs> all right. So a lot of my students got all freaked out by the ugly end at the end. If you wanted to check this, that would be kind of gross. All right. I feel pretty good about what we did. But still, if I made you, you should be able to do it. You should be able to plug that in and do it, but you don't have to. All right, now I want to show you how do things change when we start throwing variables in the bottom, which is sort of like what we've been working with, right? We just haven't worked with them in the equations yet. Uh, the nice thing is it works exactly the same damn way. So if I had, uh, let's see, let's make this one. One really nice thing about these problems is very often there will be hints in them as to how to factor stuff. So I'll bet you anything that I at least intended this to be factored as that times that. So appreciate that it's giving you hints in the problem. This is more than a hint. In fact, is that true? Is it that factor like that? No. Yes? Okay, good. I think it's said no. Is it wins? So what am I going to multiply both sides by? Or actually, wait, I'm sorry. I'm just jumping again. Do they all have the same bottom yet? Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, no. Right? What's he missing? X plus 4. Okay, he's missing an X plus 4. What's he missing? Now that you have them all with the same bottom, what can you multiply both sides by? Yeah, I'm going to multiply by what's being divided, right? So it can't. So there's no bottom left. There's no fractions left. If I multiply everything by x minus 8, x plus 4. 
multiply everything by x minus a, x plus 4, x minus a, x plus 4. They'll all cancel, cancel, cancel. It's almost too good to believe. But do you guys understand and see how that works? It's beautiful. The first step you should be very used to. Give whoever's missing something what they're missing. And the next step you can just effectively kill the bottoms, but I want to at least make you realize why you're allowed to do that, because you're multiplying by that bottom. Now before we go any further, from the very beginning, what do I know x can't be? Zero. It can't be 8? Negative 4. So if I get those answers at the end, I have to throw them out. Now again, I keep defending math. But if I do get, if I work all this out, and at the end I get this, negative 4, and normally students are like, all right, math sucks, and now math is giving me freaking raw answers, and I did everything right, holy shit, <laughs> right? But why is it not math's fault? If x is negative 4, what did we multiply by? What's x plus 4 if x is negative 4? Negative 4 plus 4 is? Zero. And what are you not allowed to multiply both equations, both sides, by? Zero. I really want you to understand this. When we multiply by x plus 4 up here, did we know what it was? No, it could have been 1, so it would have been 5 here, or x could have been 7, so that's 11. But then math tells us, hey, <laughs> when we do this, you multiply by 0. I'm like, oh, shit. That's what math is telling me. The only way to make this work is if that was zero, and if that's zero, it doesn't work. So that would be no solution if I got this, right? I have to throw that answer out. Yes, sir? Just a quick thing. You just divide the whole denominator by x minus 8 and x plus 4 there? I multiply both sides by this. I make all the bottoms the same, yeah. and then I multiply by that bottom because I have both sides. Like, I'm allowed to multiply by those things. Uh, yeah, okay, and then you just cancel them out. And then, and then all right, so now, what's left? So now I want to move that. What's left? X minus 2x. Now, now, real quick, let's see if you guys can handle this. If I do this, minus 2x minus 2 times 4 is? You just really got to pay attention when there's a minus. If you're careful, you'll be okay. If you just kind of blindly go forward, you're going to mess up. When there's a minus, it's got to affect both of these. Equals 5x minus 4. Now that kicks ass. That's last semester or whatever the hell you last took that. Right? That's easy. So how about that? Yeah, so that's negative x minus a, 5 x minus 40. So you get negative 8 equals 6x minus 40. Plus 40 to both sides. Plus 40. 32 equals 6x, divide by 6, x equals, reduce that. Undefined, so at least I don't have to throw it out for that reason. All right, so you guys try this. Yeah, I'll give you a two, and we'll talk about some special cases.
about to run out of time, so let me do this real quick here. Obviously, what's that going to factor out? You already know. So minus three, two minus three. Two minus three, two minus three. So what's he missing? Uh, two minus three. Another two minus three. So is he... So if I multiply everything by t minus 3, t minus 3, it will cancel everywhere, right? I'm allowed to do that because this is an equation. Some people learn this and they start just killing fractions everywhere, right? Fraction. The fraction massacre. Uh, uh, oh, math humor. And so what do you get up here? 14 minus 12. Minus 6t, right? Mm -hmm. Equals 12. Now, I love this problem because can I solve for t the regular way? No. What tells me I can't? The squared. The squared. So what do I have to do? True. But eventually get it equal to 0. So I can factor, right? So I got 2t squared. Minus 2t, thank you. <laughs> You're all like, how long is he going to do that? And then subtract 12 over so I get minus 24. Is that cool? You can see that? Subtract 12 over so I get minus 24. And what comes out of all those? 2. So if I have 2 on both sides, I get t squared minus t minus 12 equals 0. And that's relatively easy to factor. I'm going to speed up a little bit here, okay? Just kind of go with me. We're running out of time. So how do you factor that? Because the big one's got to be negative, so you get t is 4 or t is negative 3. Now, did either one of those freak anything out? What was the only thing that would freak something out? If t was 3, but we got... So we're both good. This problem, this problem... The only, the only fraction is x on the bottom here, right? So you just multiply everything by x. So that becomes x squared, that cancels. And that picks up an x, so I get x squared plus 9x plus 8 equals 0. I'm going to go really fast now. So I get x is negative 8, negative 1. What's the only thing? So what's the only thing I have to throw out is if x was 0, but I didn't get that. So everything's good. So this Thursday, remember, quiz, I'll have the practice test, and we'll finish up chapter 7. You already have it. He's got two of them, so let's see what's in them. Or what's in them. Yeah, so now they all have the exact same thing. And then I can multiply both sides, so all the bottoms cancel out. Can you just copy that or like understand it? Or is there a problem that's like. What's the mic? I want to know what this is.